All right, we're back for another week. This week, we're going to talk about what is choose my plate and what that means. We're going to follow that up by a video, short little video. We're going to have an in-depth discussion about what each section of the choose my plate is. That includes fruits, vegetables, grains, proteins. After all that, after we learn each and every section of what we're going to talk about today, we're going to have a short activity. You get to show what you've learned today through this coloring activity. Hope you like to color. And we'll finish that up with a little short quiz. So make sure you're paying attention so you can answer those questions. So first, let's discuss what is Choose My Plate. My plate is a helpful tool for healthy eating styles. And it's helpful when you build it up throughout your lifetime. Everything you eat and drink and put in your body matters. The right mix can help you either be healthy or unhealthy. And this is helpful for now and in the future. My plate helps you focus on variety, amount that you should be eating, the nutrition that is found in those foods. You want to choose foods and beverages with less saturated fat, sodium, and added sugars. So our goal here is to start with small changes and build and build and build to a healthier eating style. This will not only help you eat better and be healthier, but it'll also help everybody else around you.
All right, so that video did a great job of talking about what your plate should look like. So later, you're going to get a picture like this that you'll color in. Um, but I want you guys to take note about what this looks like before we start talking about each category. So with fruits, we learned in the video that with fruits and vegetables combined, you should make up a little bit more than half your plate. So how do fruits help you in your diet? As a part of an overall healthy diet, eating foods such as fruits that are lower in calories per cup instead of some other high calorie food may be useful in helping to lower your calorie intake. I'm not talking about fruit cups that are full of sugar and syrup, but I'm talking about fresh fruits. Things you can just grab as a whole and eat it. We have bananas, apples, strawberries, raspberries, pineapples, grapes, right? Also, fruits can help increase intake of fiber and potassium, which are important nutrients that many Americans don't really get enough of in their diet. So we're talking about fruits on our plate. How can we gauge what that should look like? So we all know what a baseball looks like, right? A baseball is about a cup. So if we take a baseball, that's about how much fruit you should have on your plate. Now, if we're talking about vegetables, vegetables and fruits, again, should take up about half your plate. So adding vegetables can help increase the intake of fiber and potassium as well, just like fruits. Also, eating a diet rich in vegetables and fruit as part of an overall healthy diet can reduce risk for heart disease, which can include heart attack and stroke. So... If we're talking about vegetables, how can we pertain that in um, a way we can understand on a plate? So if we take our hand and we go like, like this, we all go like this. We see this area. That's how much our palm, that's how much vegetables we should have on our plate, right? All right, now we're talking about grains. So consuming whole grains as part of a healthy diet can also reduce the risk of heart disease, which we just discussed. Consuming whole grain foods that contain fiber as part of an overall healthy diet can support healthy digestion. Also, eating whole grains as part of an overall healthy diet can help maintain your weight this what we call weight management again how do we figure out on our plate what grains should look like it's the same as vegetables it should look about the size of the palm of your hand and protein so proteins function as building blocks for your bones your muscles cartilage skin and even your blood they're also building blocks for enzymes hormones and vitamins. Proteins one are, are one of the three nutrients that provide calories. The others are more of fat and carbohydrates. So when you're growing and your body is growing, you need more proteins to support those enzymes and hormones and vitamins and your muscles and your bones so they can grow and you can be big and strong. So when we're looking at protein, we're talking about fish, steak, chicken, beans, anything like that. If it has a high content of protein in it, it should be on your plate. So again, if we look at our plate, how can we measure how much protein should be on our plate? So you think of a deck of cards, right? It's about that big right we all have a deck of cards lying around that should be about how much protein should be in your diet so I didn't touch on dairy but I think the video did a great job of explaining dairy um, but one thing we didn't discuss about it was how can we tell how much dairy if it's not in a little cup for us already or Something like that. So if you take your fist and you ball up your fist, this is about how much dairy you can have on your plate. 
Okay, so now we're going to do an activity. You're going to get a coloring sheet, and you can color it however you want. I want you to be creative. You can color it in, just like the video was. Or you can color in each section depending on what the label says. So if it says fruits, you can color it in with fruits. You can draw fruits. You can draw in vegetables, certain grains, and certain proteins. Be creative. This is up to you. Okay? So I'll be back here in a little bit to see what you guys have come up with, and we'll continue on with our discussion.
All right, if we didn't finish our coloring for now, you can finish it at the end, okay? But we're gonna keep on talking. We just have to talk about a few more things and then you can go back to your coloring activity. So we talked about earlier in the beginning of this video, along with the video I played you, why do we choose my plate? Why do we use it? Can I get three answers? Three answers. There's no wrong answer. All good. Yes, all good. All right. So, now, which of these nutri nutri nutrients, I apologize, can you get from eating whole fruit that is not usually found in juice? So you either have vitamins, minerals, fiber, or sugar. Anybody know the answer? Minerals. The answer is minerals. All right. Second question. Potassium is a nutrient that many Americans don't get enough of. Which of the following is a good fruit source of this mineral known to help regulate blood pressure? Does anybody know the answer? I know. A little tricky. So you either have dried apricot apricots bananas orange juice or all of the above hmm do we know the answer all of the above all of those are great sources of potassium so what fruit is this does anybody know what fruit this is? This beautiful picture? Is it a cantaloupe? What about a papaya? Or a mango? Hmm. Star fruit? Or a moon fruit? <laughs> Do we know the answer? It's a mango! All right, question four. Eating a diet rich in fruits and vegetables as part of an overall healthy diet may protect against certain types of cancer. Is this true or false? Do we know? True? False? False? True? Hmm? It's true! Alright, does anybody have any further questions?